Hello and welcome to the Captain's Table, ladies and gentlemen, the first Captain's Table of the year. It also happens to be my birthday, um, uh, recorded on January 7th, so if you're watching this after the fact... Um, Let's open this up it. and get wasted! <laughs> I've got my Pacifico, and uh, Dar Darge has got his his, his uh, wine, so we're, we're going to do this one. But uh, I also have alcohol this time, I have gin mm -hmm. and orange soda. There we go. Um, so this is, this is a story and request. And so we'll get to that after you do the introductions. Okay. So the, um, the thing that, uh, that is, you should understand is that I'm doing an experiment. I'm streaming this to Twitch and YouTube at the same time. So Saturdays, um, 6 PM Eastern, come join us live. We'll be talking about, um, we do this, we do the shows. We talk about star citizen stuff. That's what the Captain's table is here for. But if you're watching this after the fact in the kind of shorter segments, I do, I'm still going to record these in sort of short segments and release them as videos because not everyone wants to sit there and watch a four hour long stream <laughs> because that I, that we have to cut Speak it up. for yourself, so, man. I, you know, Hey, some people do or not. So, mm. um, I watch, I watched dark Viper AU play Noita in a single video for 19 hours. Mm. I didn't I watch it in a single father. sitting, but I watched everything. Okay. The, the, um, recently I've been watching, um, the complete lore series of various different, uh, like the complete story of every, various different stories. So I've watched the complete history of, um, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid. I've watched the complete Oof. history of Resident Evil and just finished watching the complete history of uh, Devil May Cry and each of, oh, and I also watched the complete history of, uh, Call of Duty Zombies, um, total combined, like there were between two or between three and six hours long each. So oh, I get that. I understand that. Uh, how oh, how how much how much is your total length for the total history of Star Citizen going to be though? S well, so <laughs> far, so far, it's uh with the latest one, it's going to be uh probably around an hour and a half so far, and I'm only not even to the beginning of the UPE. So wow. I'm still 500 years, 600 years in the past. Did you did you have you included, or will you go back to do the uh, pre-human stuff for the Xion? I'm not going to do the pre-human stuff with the Xion because I want to just do focus on humanity. If I try to do okay. all of the history of all of the species at the same time, I it, it would be impossible. It would be a thirty-hour-long video. So That's we're going to do that. Pay you for right? <laughs> so, and I might go back and do an entire history of the, each species as well. But this is the Captain's Table where we come we come in and talk about Star Citizen. It's the beginning of the year. Um, come watch us live, twitch.tv slash theastropub, youtube.com slash theastropub live. Otherwise, if you're enjoying this, make sure you hit the like button, you subscribe for more content like this, as well as hit that little bell icon if you're watching this after the fact. That way you know when these come out, especially making sure that you hit the little all notifications icon under the bell. Not just the bell, you have to hit the all notifications because for some reason YouTube wants you to hit 17 different things to be able to tell when you're when your stories are on. Are you interested? Are you really interested? Are you super interested? <laughs> That's why I clicked the button, YouTube. It's why I clicked the button. <laughs> um, so with that the all bell has like three different modes right now, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. No. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you have to click subscribe. Then you have to hit the bell. Then you have to click the bell again, a little drop down and hit the little, it's like, what the, f okay, come on, YouTube. Anyways, it used to be just a subscribe button. Yeah. Anywho, let's let's get to the introductions. We're going to start with you, Naz. Who are you? What do you do in Star Citizen, and where can they find you? Hello, everyone. Um, I am Nazareth. I do mostly, well, half and half currently streaming and videos. So from now on, as far as I have scheduled out for the rest of the year, it's going to be a a, a YouTube short tutorial on Mondays, and then I believe it's on Wednesday or Friday is going to be the low effort video and then probably saturday is going to be the more effort video so actually this week's actually pretty interesting so not this week but the 14th is going to be the first lore heavy video i'm going to be doing and that is aegis who a overview of the history or i might might split it up but it's going to be at least starting the history of aegis what they are who they are what ships they own specifically and we're Good with luck. this series, we're, we're going to be building out a, an ultimate timeline of star citizen so while Good Paul has love. the videos he's doing, I'm doing a physical timeline. Yeah. Um, well, thank you. I, I plan to. But yeah, we're going to be making tutorials, uh, hopefully a short every Monday. Um, the one that will be out on the 9th is how to get to your ship if you spawn a new Babbage. It was go. like a 
15 minute video that I had to cut down to one minute. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. On that, I do mostly YouTube stuff. Um, I don't stream on Twitch anymore because I'm just trying to put all the eggs in a single basket to start with to actually generate momentum. And then we'll branch out from there. So at Nazareth on YouTube and I show up on lots of people's streams everywhere else because they don't know that I'm terrible. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, they'll, if you click down below now, YouTube has this nice little, little um, tagging thing. So you, uh, I've tagged Naz, Naz's uh, YouTube name. So all you have to do is go to the description and click on the little at, and it'll bring you right to his page. So uh, it's fancy. Now everyone has their own, um, their own uh, uh, handles on YouTube, yeah. no matter what oh, yeah. number you have. So uh, next we have Senor, I say the, the Prince of Pluto and Emperor of Uranus, Darianator. Who are you? What do you do in Star Citizen? Where can they find you? Hello. Uh, welcome to the Kevin's Table. I don't know. What, what did they say that? It's not my show. I am Darianator. I do stupid things. I say stupid things. I sometimes do stupid things that are cool and get me upvoted to the front page of Reddit, but, you know, that happens maybe once a month or so. Um, uh, I also uh, appear on podcasts like, such as these, the Captain's Table, and then the other one with him. Uh, um, Spice Spice Roll, that one. Yeah. Another one, uh, where we where where we do uh, non-star citizen uh, sci-fi stupid things. Yeah, that's yes. that's that's the best way to um, uh, to talk about it. Uh, but other than that, uh, on a more serious note, I've actually been working with JRDF. Uh, if you don't know, we make kid models for star citizen it's the Carrick. Uh, it's it's pretty yet. boy. It's one to five hundred Carrick. Where's and the one to five hundred galaxy? When it's out. That's one of the things. We can't do oh, a ship until it's in game. Mm. However, this is something so that St Steve the Dancer asked <laughs> just a couple of minutes ago. Uh, the MSR is coming this month. Yeah. Ooh. And we'll have a uh, live stream on uh, Twitch.tv forward slash JRDesFab. Is it, is it the single engine or the double engine version? I assume it's the double engine. The original model had a single round engine when it came into the Oh, game no, it had a single world. engine and the uh, side engines. Okay. No, we're doing the one that's in-game. Ah, yeah. dang. So, so, when J, uh, so when the CIG uh, modifies it to include a front elevator, yeah, it's oh, not going to be accurate be... anymore. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Also, the, isn't the Carrick one supposed to also drop through eventually? I, I, I guess. One? Yeah, sure, whatever. Um... <laughs> Fine. Um, Make all your models void. Did you respond to? There was someone in chat asking about a, a very old name, which is Fortnightly Frontier. Oh, that yes, that was a right. podcast I used to run. Uh, it was one of the, the original podcasts for Star Citizen, uh, the oldest podcast for Star Citizen that was that was running. That was still around up yeah. until up until yeah, twenty twenty. Oh, geez, I ended in twenty twenty one, didn't I? Fuck, it's yeah. been over a year. Uh, <laughs> still dreaming about bringing it back, but it's not going to be in a in a in a format that it was before. Thinking about maybe doing it in sort sort of like the creator space uh, for Star Citizen. Uh, there's a lot of people making their own models, either either 3D printed or um, CNC from uh, from wood, from plywood and stuff or like that. Digitally. So, or, or digitally, sure, yeah. Oh, uh, who who's the guy that, that does the this 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 um what was it the Argo car the Argo big cargo ship bulk stuff? Yeah, that one. Yeah, the I'm whole designing the Argo bulk. Oh yeah. no, the the Argo um uh, raft. No, no, no! This it's 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 a it's a completely. Is it you? It, no. it might be. I'm 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 designing uh, what I'm calling the Argo Bulk, a competitor to the uh, Upper Hull series. But the advantage it's, it's, is it's, everything's inside instead of external. Yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, I'm, it's, I'm trying it's, to get myself in gear to learn Blender so I can actually have a decent model instead of using SketchUp because the second you import <laughs> any Star Assistant model in SketchUp. Minus three frames a second. <laughs> yeah, Blender. Blender actually works. Uh, yeah, but SketchUp is. Great. Blender's a yeah. 
Mm. Uh, there is a tool called Starfab that uh, I, I I'm actually allowed to talk about. Uh, right. That we uh, that uh, people who do work at for uh, with JRDF have developed to to pull all sorts of assets from the game and into Blender. Um, is that an accessible tool? It is. It is on GitHub, and there are tutorials on YouTube. So, yeah, look into it. It's called Starfab. Starfab. Nice. Okay, opening up the th how many tabs do I have? The <laughs> the ninety yes. ninth tab. Wow, I'm actually pretty low for today. Uh, but yeah, uh, his ram is screaming for help. Mm -hmm. Just put it out of his misery. Every yeah, time I launch our sisters, like you should really have more than eight gigs free for me to use. I'm like you, you're fine. You're fine. It's fine. Uh, but to go back a couple of tangents, uh, we are launching the MSR very soon. We'll have a stream this month. And if you want to add, ask more questions about future kits and stuff like that, feel free to uh, pop in. We will we will be announcing it on social medias on Twitter primarily. Um, the chat's also oh, yeah. like you mentioning your your ATV ISC. I need complete. to update that. I need to update that. I'm still <laughs> it's still you know what's you know what's holding me back. I got all the way up to the two hour ramblematic uh, between Chris and Rich. Oh, at the end of to uh, that's hard game. to yeah. get through. How am I? How that's am I going hard. to pull it? Yeah. Oh my god. <sighs> Instant Star Citizen is easy compared to that. It's just like yeah. oh god. Oh gosh. You, you take what they say. You t you listen for about the next five minutes. You then take the first sentence and cut everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Because they've already said it, and they just keep yeah. repeating the same sentence over and over. No, but yeah, but it's just going to be so many timestamps. Um, but and Champasta, the the no, the model kits are unpainted. You'll have to paint them yourself, however yeah. you want. Yep, I painted some myself. And I'll be painting more on it stream is. at some yeah. point. So it, it 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 we are tapping into the uh, the uh, modeler niche. So yes, uh, what kind of printing like was a... used? Uh, a we 4K use a version uh, like to play with. An, oh, you're framework. talking about a game. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, not, not, not in game, but to play with the models on a, on a tabletop. On a tabletop. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, NDA is all I'm going to say. <laughs> um, I can't, seriously, it's NDA. I can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. That's, that's as much information as I yeah. needed. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, and Gideon asked, what kind of printer was used? Uh, we used SLA printers as we use Formlabs uh, 3 and newer. Uh, so they are down to like 25 micron uh, in uh, in detail. And because they're Formlabs printers, you you really don't get any sort of aliasing. Even for an SLA printer, they're very high quality. Because I have a cheapo SLA printer at home and it gets nowhere near. Yeah. All right. Um, Make sure you check it out. I am a big, big, big proponent and fan of, of JRDF and what they do. Um, so if you like those kind of models and the sort of things, it's really nice for people who don't have tons of experience. And uh, it's a nice little like because it's all officially licensed for CIG. They've got yeah, like a yes. A I forgot to mention that we that. are we are officially licensed. I say we. Yeah, JRDF is officially licensed to you be work for to them? create they pay you? these. Right? <laughs> yeah, this is true. This is true. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, officially licensed. Uh, and probably the only ones around. Mm -hmm. um, and single seater fighters are the only one we'll do at a one to one hundred. Yes, yes. And there are. I was gonna say we do are we are open to special commissions, mm -hmm. uh, but we're already full up for the year. Is, is wow! There any plans to do a Power Wheels size ship? What's that for? For kid, the, for the kids, little kids, little battery operated little go kart things. Oh, oh shit! Like a cyclone? Of... They can sit in. Yeah, mm -hmm. they can try, sit and drive <laughs> with like a little little motor in, in it. That would be so good. Uh, JR would first probably want to make a one to one cyclone. Ooh. Or a Steve. <laughs> he, I would love to see that. CIG a cozy coop Ursa. There you go. There's 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 your, there's your there's your model for for Citizen Con, though. I'm sure they already have talked with JRDF and they've already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Anywho. Uh. Yes, you can contact them through jrdf.sc. Oh. That'll get you to uh, where you need to go. Uh, but let's move on after this whole rambling intro. Can I, I can I do just one thing? Just sure. First thing, because I, I was uh, in November, I was at Bar Citizen in Milano, and a very mm -hmm. nice fella called uh, with a nickname called The Lost uh, gave me this, nice. and and it's you know like that, and 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 asked me to. Uh, 
to 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 open it and review it on the captain's table. Oh, so, yeah. well, hello, so. uh, the lost from from Milano. Thank you for watching. Um, you'll mm. be able to enjoy uh, Darge's uh, take on that. I am terrible. My parents are great wine connoisseurs. I am terrible at wine mm. connoisseurs. But if if there's anyone in Scotland who runs a uh, like a like a distillery. Or anyone in like Germany who runs <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. who runs who runs a uh, uh, a brewery somewhere, I'll be perfectly fine to review your beer and, <laughs> and so, whiskey. So, you know. So the the only thing holding me back is this thing exploding and going everywhere. So if I com- just if I just go black, monitor. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, is it carbonated? Yeah, it's like it's kind of. It was explained. It's kind of like a champagne. It would be called a champagne if the French didn't prohibit anyone from Sparkling calling wine. it champagne because it's not from the champagne region. Yeah, but the yeah. Italians are the same with gorgonzola and shit like that. So who cares? Yeah, they're the same same thing with uh, Scotland or Scotch in Scotland. So mm. so far, the only alcohol they have actually liked is gin. There we go. Ooh, nice and carbonated. Hey, did that. That didn't go. It didn't go <laughs> everywhere. It went over nice. me, but it didn't go everywhere. There we go. Well, we'll hear we'll hear more of uh, Darge's review of this here in a moment. Oh. But I have a proper scientific glass. There we go. Nice. <laughs> it, it, it's 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 a beaker. Nice. Uh, it's a by, beaker by 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 Matt Scientist, which is a Hungarian uh, brewery for a beer. So very nice. nice. Um. Let's start off with with the kind of the, the topic for today. Ten minutes at sixteen minutes in, uh, which is uh, which is twenty twenty three. What is uh, your your like kind of your hopes, your dreams, your fears for twenty twenty three? What should we expect? What do you think we should be expecting? Because this is to kind of preface this. This is a very unique year. We haven't had a year like this in a very long time. In the past, we've always had CIG's projected estimates you know, two to three uh, patches out. So for instance, in 2020, uh, in 2020, going into 2021, we knew uh, what they were planning on doing for the quarter three patch, at least what they had general ideas of. It was always wrong and it slipped, but we got an idea of what they were working on. So in 2022, uh, they stopped that practice, so we only know what's at what's going in the release view. We only know what's going to be coming up in the next patch. So once twenty uh, three eighteen comes out, uh, then we'll know what three nineteen is going to look like and when it's going to release, and so on and so forth. But we don't have that information yet, so we're just kind of in the dark. So with that being said, let's start off with your hopes. Let's start off with your. Your your big hopes there, Darge, for three or for twenty twenty three. What do you expect we're going to be seeing this year? What are some of the things you would hope to see? Oh, uh, I checked out the roadmap before we started because mm-hmm. there's a lot of things that are slated to end uh, this year. Even though, as, as was said in um, in the um, chairman's letter, that we're not getting um, server meshing and pyro. By before Q4, but probably not before Q1 of 2024. But but there's a lot of things that are that are, will be adding to the game, should be adding to the game, that that aren't really contingent on that. That are going to also be uh, a huge boon to everyone. So a lot of gameplay stuff. Uh, I kind of don't really care about Pyro right now. Okay. I think everyone's in that boat. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of people just like, okay, just release it. Give us extra stuff that we care about. We just want it out of the way so we can get to the more interesting places. Castra, yeah. No, Vega, no, no. I, I don't uh, I don't care about new locations oh. right now. There's, a, there's enough room and enough variety in Stanton to, uh, to satiate me for now. Because um, the... Compared to what we're getting in terms of gameplay, just getting new locations doesn't really uh, isn't really that interesting, you know. Yeah. Sure, sure, it'll be a, uh, a like a like a bed like the bedrock to for some new proper locations like the UGFs, but stuff like the new actress data s- system, cutting aerodynamic control surfaces, life support. 
um, resource management, all of that is supposed to also be coming with, uh, you know, this year. And we can get that without Pyro. Mm-hmm. Still in Stanton. Mm-hmm. So I'm more interested in fleshing out the experience of being in Star Citizen before uh, before we just, you know, go into a new system. So that's the sort of stuff that I'm that I'm that I've been wanting. I've been wanting life support for ever since we got the PU. Because mm-hmm. it just doesn't make sense. You open a door into space and nothing happens. Yeah. Naz. I, mean, I don't think what... life support was possible till the uh, physical refactor. Ooh, they they had it before. The problem is people, yeah, people kept opening doors version. and people kept opening doors and decompressing everything. <laughs> so which is, <laughs> which is what should happen. Yes, but then it wouldn't yeah. refit in and all that kind of stuff. Naz, yeah. your yeah. hopes yeah. for this year. What are you hoping for this year? Um, I definitely agree on the whole. Uh, more area doesn't equal better game. Um, the only like caveat for that is long distance hauling. I know we're not getting that in Pyro because no one hauls to Pyro or from Pyro. That is specifically small, like freelancer size cargo shipments for weapons, mostly and drugs. Um, so we need to like get to through Pyro Nix, possibly to Castra, or all the way around to we can go from Castra to Terra, and then we'll have long distance hauling. So till that comes in, I don't really care about new stuff. It's more of density of stuff, like you said. Um, I made a short list on the possibilities of coming out. Um, and this is basically everything that looks like it is far enough along to come out within the year. Okay. So the, the list is resource management, the new, new UGFs, building interiors, asteroid bases, bounty hunting V2, whole scene associated gameplay, tractor beams, cutting V2, fire CPUs, life support, MFD reworks, the X1, persistent hangers, more quantum, vehicle munching, swimming, and weapon misfire. Okay. So those are what about aerodynamic control services? That should have been on there, but it's not <laughs> because apparently I missed it. Yes, that should actually be done quite soon. If yeah, like, that should be like a locked in for nineteen. Mm, there's mm. also different types of ammunition, like disarray. Dis- what is disarray ammunition? I kn- I found that out distortion. today. It's disarray. No, no, it's disarray. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, but is it concussion? It, it's concussion plus EMP. So I guess it's kind of distortion, but it's yeah. but it's more than that. It's all the different so, uh, ammunition types seem to be just a plus to what we have now. So it's distortion mm. plus or. Uh, concussion plus like a lot of the stuff is just kind of this and this kind of combined mm-hmm. um like, so, kind of like black is sure, but this is this is ballistic, isn't this fps ballistic. weaponry though i don't yeah. think it's fps i think it's ship it might be it might be uh fps as well because you could also um especially in the future when resource management comes in mm-hmm. That'll that'll ma- matter a lot more because things like turning off your HUD for your uh, your spacesuit or turning off your life support for spacesuit mm-hmm. temporarily, so you're choking or you're 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 reducing your like lifespan, or you have to kind of retreat because your oxygen is no longer functioning, <laughs> your your scrubbers yeah. are mm-hmm. no longer functioning, kind of thing. So um. also, Nazareth, you forgot the most important part of that mop and fucking bucket, man. Yes. I would have put that in if it was for Star Citizen. I'm so upset it's not coming to Star Citizen anytime soon. You have no... Okay. The amount of... I I don't know why I, I'm like this. I'm just this weird being that likes cleaning. That's... Not all cleaning, but likes cleaning. I will love to spend a year as a, uh, a, a hanger worker that my job is not to replace weapons not to reload or anything but to just clean scrub the floors scrub oh the outside inside i would love to that would how be are you amazing. liking the uh are you in the wave one i am yes how are you liking the uh the the hull scraping is it is it very much it like haven't touched it yet Ooh, haven't touched i i have been actually so it. star you'll... marine however is running fantastic okay it is so smooth. Like it is locked to sixty on my computer, mm. which is a ten seventy. Wow. Um, it is. It is so good. Like if I can, if I turn uh, VSync off, eighties all the way. Nice. But I only have a poor sixty hertz monitor. Yeah. I it's, mean, it's, uh, it's, it's it still chat... helps because of uh, lower input lag. Yeah. Uh, uh, the chat is talking about this, but it's just something I always I always say. People sleep on Star Marine. Star Marine and Arena Commander mm. are not the games you remember. They are very good because mm-hmm. in in February, last February, they have a dedicated team that just works on them. Yep. Uh, cool. It's not many people. It's like four or five people, but that's all they do. But they are just like seriously dedicated people. Like mm-hmm. yeah. when they show up on Spectrum, like you can just, they just seethe in their like 
ambitions and uh, like how much they're working hard. On they want to make this a good game. Like they mm-hmm. want to make Arena Commander and Star Marine and, and Theaters of War. That's their job as well. They want to make mm-hmm. those those game modes. Which good they've mentioned and playable. Yeah. <laughs> No, but uh, but I ask, but I ask because it is so very much reminiscent of Power Wash Simulator. Yes. Yeah, I never actually played Power Wash Simulator. I and I you can call get... yourself obsessed with cleaning. I didn't say obsessed. <laughs> I said I enjoy. <laughs> but you should you and, should really get and Power I get Wash the Simulator. same kind of uh, dopamine from farming sim. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. There you go. <laughs> cleaning the field, mowing the lawn. Yes. Mm. Like I'm mowing lawn in like stupid Minecraft. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Like, I'll, I'll just like, okay, for the next hour, I'm just like mowing the lawn, just t- cutting down all the grass. I'll do that. But yeah, I I think that the, the tile on the roadmap that is Mop and Bucket is actually a base behavior for janitorial services. Mm-hmm. Not just janitorial, but it's like all sorts of uh, AIs that need to handle objects and, and not just go from where they're stored to 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 put in a counter like for a bartender or a coffee shop operator or the quartermaster on uh, in squadron 42 but you know take an item and and go wandering and take it where it's needed and then use it there and then bring it back and stuff like that so a constant use item instead of a just a b yeah yeah okay yeah. Cool, 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 cool. yeah because if you've played if anyone here has played in the ptu there's something that Star Citizen now has that no other game that I've ever seen anywhere ever have. Real litter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we now have fully physicalized and realized trash Garbage. that people are leaving everywhere. Trash. And, and, people, and, and when I see people just dump stuff on the ground like that, I never want to talk to them again. They're the same sort of garbage people who don't return carts when they're done shopping or mm. fast food trays, you know, uh, stuff like that. No, you are not the sort of person I want to deal with. All I want for CIG in this circumstance is to make the trash cans around the verse an actual trash can. So you put something in it, it just deletes the item. Yeah. Yeah, doesn't matter is... what you put in it. If you if you knock someone out, pick up their armor, and then throw out their backpack, it deletes it. There was a mm-hmm. game that does that, where like if you put something in a trash can, it deletes it from the game. I mean, I I Minecraft. Uh, there, uh, I don't know if well, no, not Minecraft. But what was the the, the hugely popular? Um, no, no, hugely popular mod pack for Minecraft. Oh. Uh, with uh, with technology and more redstone and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, one one of the mods was a was a trash can. You, no, it was I, I mean, a. I want to say it like was a, Yeah, it was part of the mm. game. Like it was part of the actual stuff. So, uh, Samurai, uh, thank, thank you for over four. It was feed the beast. Feed the beast. Okay. Mm. Uh, Samurai is asking if if Hurston makes my OCD goes nuts. I don't have OCD for one. That's an actual condition. Two, I'm too busy worrying about my ship already being dirty when I just bought it <laughs> to worry about Hurston. Oh, because that's because like, that's in game I now. Want, wear and tear on all yeah, the big thing mm. I want. No, and even when like you just buy it, like the the reclaimer, mm. you, you buy it and the textures are already grungy and things. Hate that. Hate that. I know they're changing it later. But the one big thing I want that hasn't been mentioned at all is the removal of decorations in your ship. So, like, the character specifically, there's, like, books all over the shelves, and there's a chessboard that's really broken because um, it just, like, sticks into the wall. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want those to be gone so that we can, like, go to the kiosks and things and buy the magazines uh, right. and stock it ourselves. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, so that you should want be just, my you want empty stuff. shelves. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I, want, I want the ship to be my story, not the developer's built-in story. Because that's what yeah. they're supposed mm-hmm. to be. Like, we know that's coming, but we just haven't said anything about it. Yeah, it's going to be a while. I haven't, like, uh, talked about any of, like, my hopes for the thing. <laughs> what, what are your but, hopes? Yeah. What are your hopes? Let's talk about your hopes. Um, we kind of went over, like, like the, a little bit about what's going on right now. And, mm-hmm. and this was, a, you, you obviously want, you're hoping for more cleaning gameplay. <laughs> but... <laughs> um, I, I think more, I, I like the lore thing. I really like how the, the lore is now only uh, going to be focused on in-game. <laughs> I think my hope would be subsumption, dynamic conversation system, and uh, more more cargo gameplay. Okay. Not just loading and unloading, not just the uh, elevators for the hangars, but just the, the the tying the string together through the entire game of cargo. I think that's, yeah. that's what my hope is. Do you want to be a trader or a hauler? I think both. They at are making times, the they're make, making the distinction. Yeah. yeah, because trading is um, much more uh, risky because you're spending your own money. 
to hopefully play the market. It's, it's kind of like physical yeah. investing. Um, mm -hmm. Where Holly is just, Hurston wants me to move, you know, 9,000 pounds of weapons. Our corp wants me to haul 50,000 pounds of engines, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I think I want to do both at different times. So to, like, build up stable income, you haul. And then when you have that capital to play with, you can make the bigger bucks with trading. I, I, w I would think that um, trading is also going to be reputation gated. So you need yes. to get proper hauling uh, reputation yeah. first before they trust you to to take on cargo without a reliable mediator. Yeah, because even that can go both ways for both legal and illegal. Like if you're goody two shoes that like nine tails is not going to trust you to haul anything for them. Yeah. But then again, if you're in with the Nine Tails, Crusader is gonna like absolutely screw you over. Like they are not gonna care. I love you that you can't you can't do everything in Star. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to do everything in Star Citizen. Mm -hmm. Now let's 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 kind of go on a little bit for that. Let's let's talk about reputation because we'll talk about some some very specific things and where do you think it's gonna come in the game. And then we'll talk about more. What do you think is a realistic expectation for what we should see in say three months, six months, you know, end of the year. Um, <clears throat> Reputation. We talked about reputation. Let's start with you, Daz, on this one. Do you think we will see an ex advancements in reputation this year? I think it's kind of inevitable because almost every facet of the game has its own team now. So I think at least some update to it is kind of inevitable, especially with uh, Korea being reactivated. That's almost entirely for a reputation purpose. Like that was, that was purpose built to hook, in, hook into the reputation system. And we're just so close. Like, we, I th how many years have we been on the current reputation two. Uh, model? Two years? Mm. I, it's, it's definitely enough time after a lot of the stuff that is being worked on right now. Um, it, we're very close to being able to hook in the next tier as far as all the other stuff that are, is being done at the same time. So I think it's, it's quite possible. I think it's almost probable that we get more reputation something this year. Okay. Darsh? Uh yeah, I'd agree. But before that, I'd like to do my review of uh, of this right, wonderful let's see the wine. Review. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's a lot less dry than I thought it would be, um, considering what it's supposed to be. So I wouldn't even call it a silver. Uh, it's especially not a gold, because uh, like silver is medium dry, gold is super dry when it comes to champagne. Uh, but yeah, a slight sour note. Uh, but you know, otherwise, just, yeah, fine. Uh. I'd, I'd get that. I'd get more of that. Sure. Nice. I just realized it looks like I'm drinking piss. <laughs> Very watered down, but yeah. I mean, because it's, it's from this glass. Yeah. Mm. Someone who's drinking lots of water already. Mm, yeah, yeah. V very well hydrated, this person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, but if, if Dune can do it. <laughs> Starts. <laughs> mm. uh, why am I drinking out of beaker? Because this is a uh, like a. Uh, it's an actual. Like, it's it's a it's a it's a beer glass. glass. Yeah. yeah, but it look it only looks like a beaker because it is from a brewery called Mad Scientist. Uh, and yes, yummy yummy samples. Mm. Uh, but in terms of reputation, I hope we get more because it's. Uh. It's it's been stagnant for for, for quite a while, and and I hope that the the, the um, criminal system also uh, tackles on tacks onto the reputation because the GTA style bullshit is just what it is. It's bullshit. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's just ain't worse, <laughs> not better. Now they'll get rewarded for doing it. <laughs> Well, they'll get re that's actually a good thing. If you get rewarded for doing bad things, but getting punished by like in reality, the reputation system should be should be toned so that if you're a criminal, you can't go anywhere except for criminal locations because you've ruined your reputation. Uh, but right now it's like you can land at any location yeah. and there's no, no problem. You know, I mean, technically we have a reputation tweak in 318, which is crime stat one and two doesn't kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Which I'm so, so but, glad because, like, I was in game a couple, like, a month or two ago with a friend, and he drove the stupid SRV into the side of my ship. It's fine. Um, and I'm like, okay, just go pay it off. It gets to the room where the stupid terminals are, and there's just guards everywhere. It's like, okay, I'll just, I'll just bum rush and get shot instantly. Goes to clash over the next 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this God. is like a new play. He doesn't know how that whole system works. 
Well, he does now, I guess. Mm. So, well, in in terms of reputation, like like surely there's gonna be uh, actual like warrants out for your arrest, depending on how long your rap sheet is. But do you do you uh, like? I suppose we'll have like regional. Uh, jurisdictions and federal jurisdictions like UE is sort of the, yeah. the federal jurisdiction. Uh so do you guys want like like if you've done a lot of crimes in Herson space, you technically didn't do crimes in Microtech space. So you, yeah. should you have like a clean slate in Microtech or should it be more like a federal crime sort of thing that I think it that, depends. That, yeah. It, I think it depends on the crime. Like are you killing people in Hurston? Yeah, those yeah, should okay, know. Yeah. They should know. But are you are you are you like smuggling people out of Hurston? And it's like like a, like a local law that you're breaking. Like you're breaking, helping people to get out of out of their their area. Then no one should care except for Hurston because it has nothing to yeah. do with the UE law. Um, they kind of have that already, but more in depth versions of that. Because right now it's mm-hmm. like all crimes are illegal, no matter what. There's very little nuance between the UE laws and the Hurston laws, but you know. I just thought a really interesting feature that they could add with not much change to anything that they're not working on, which is when NPC taxing comes in, being able to set your own price. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying either. I don't know what you're saying yeah. either, Josh. <laughs> I think he's talking about the drink. Um, mm-hmm. All right, let's, let's move oh. to, the, to, to the next question or the next big thing that I get uh, asked a lot about, which is... Uh, procedural damage and like armor and stuff like that. Let's start with you, Dodge. Do you think that's coming this year? Oh, uh, huh. when I was checking on the roadmap, I saw that there's some sort of not soft body, but there was there was some something uh, uh connected to that sort of thing, like uh, that ended with uh, December thirty first, twenty twenty two. But then uh, I realized the damage it's, breakability. It's, yeah, squad, but that, that's a Squadron 42 thing. And a lot of Squadron 42 just ends at December 31st, 2022 because they haven't updated it yet. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, would be, it's one of those, just one of those things that, that they've been promising for a long time and would be nice because they, they changed the ballistics mm-hmm. uh, in 3.18 a lot. Uh, but you would think that those would go hand in hand with armor, because that that's 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 sort of the direction the design is supposed to go in. Because uh, ballistics are just go through shields, but are stopped by armor, and energy weapons are stopped by shields. But if you don't have shields, you, they just you know blast through armor. Um, so why we get one but not the other is is a very disconcerting thing to me because right now, yeah, uh, we don't have armor, so all the ballistics ballistics are just going to be a disaster. Naz, what do you think? Do you think we're going to be seeing um, procedural damage, the new damage system, and armor this year? Um, it might show up on the roadmap. I, I honestly don't know because the amount of things they're working on is quite a long list and that and is there's basically only 800 people employed yeah. and there's only 800 people employed um i don't think that armor is like it's necessary for combat which is a large section of game plus most of squadron but i don't know if like if the payout is as big as doing something else because okay. it's basically a incorporeal item that just changes a stat. Mm, is it though? It it they could do it both ways. They could have it physically change the look of the ship, and they could also have it not. Because it's it's not going to be just changing uh, the stats. Because uh, the velocity, the angle, and size of projectiles is going to influence how well your ship is going to withstand. A, a direct that's, impact. That's just using SDF. Sure, but it's not a stat. Well, if they if they use the SDF <laughs> tech to calculate the velocity direction, mm-hmm. all they have to do is make the math to where that works out as a higher or lesser damage. Yeah, but it's also we're also dealing with like removal of 
hit point pools and stuff like that. So it's, I think, cause you also have to like, when we're dealing with things like, um, like decompression, for instance, just because, cause that's another thing you got to add into that with the dynamic damage, just because, you know, you hit nothing doesn't mean you don't hit a portion of the ship and decompress it, which now suddenly is a problem because you don't have health anywhere. You don't have the, uh, the, the atmosphere in that area. The, the famous oh. scene from the expanse where they're going through and they decompress the ship before they go into battle because they know they're going to get shot up. Mm-hmm. And so they rather keep their oxygen in tanks where it's a little bit more protected than, you know, lose it. So, yeah, which oh, I think also uses the calculation seen. through the SDF tech because mm. of the data structure. Yeah, they would be silly to not use SDF because that is an amazing technology, yeah. Yeah, because it, it is the entire math of all the uh, geometry of the exterior of the ship. So if mm. you use that math to say a bullet's coming in this direction, you hit the SDF here, calculate how much of it, or like penetration, uh, calculus, whatever it is, does it get to the interior space? If it does, mm. vent. Like, that sounds really simple when I'm saying it, but to actually code that into a functional gameplay system, it's not exactly like... The only if like bullet, yes, then damage <laughs> equals one. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's what we coded it for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's it's definitely possible that the the long list of things that are already slated to be coming in and that's been talked about in the monthly reports, it's a definite maybe. <laughs> uh, it's 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 could be easy for them to do, could be hard for them to do, and the payoff might not be as big as we'd like it to be in the game. Okay. Uh, let me hit the other the other highlights. Uh, well, I'll finish off with the, with the big one. Uh, but do you think we're going to get uh, the Aaron Halo this year? Oh, Start with your eyes on this one. I don't think so, unfortunately. Okay. I think, I think the location team is going to do their work on Lorvo. And with Pyro getting done, I think they're going to move to Nyx. I don't think... I don't know why I feel like this way, but I feel like they're just going to move on without going back first and finishing the stupid starter system with the Aaron Halo and redoing Art Corp. <laughs> like those, those are the two things that we need to finish Stanton. Mm-hmm. And I don't think we're going to move on to those for some reason. I think they're going to move forward instead of finishing their backlog. Okay. I'm Dark. still confused how Aaron Halo is supposed to work. Like, how is it that this? It's- yeah. Two dimension, no, that's two dimensional thing is supposed to stop you from traveling in three dimensions. No, because it's like, it's not it's not supposed to be two dimensions. It's supposed to be very big in terms of like its height around the system. Sure, is sure, but you just you just you just send a you know a quantum travel waypoint like up, up at and forty five degrees yeah, and then go back down. The the concept is is that 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 process is, you can do, but it's more fuel inefficient than just going to a station and going through the station. And so also, the, it's kind of the customs area, so it's yeah. kind of like you should do this, or you could spend the mine share and the fuel and the resources to purposely circumnavigate the local authority, and that's yeah. what you do if you're smuggling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and as Chat's pointing out, we don't have no idea what it's actually going to look like. Um, we have it as two D representation, but it could be a sphere. It could literally just be a a sphere. Of oh, asteroids. that is true. That I didn't think of it being a sphere. I've always thought of it as a ring because yeah. it is called the halo, halo. not a, yeah. not a sphere. So yeah. it's a it's a donut, not a, a sphere. Halos it's can halo. be donuts too. No donuts. Yes, halos are halos are donuts of the same shape. They're I forget what the but they, shape they is can called. be they can be uh, domes as well. Halos are domes as well. Are they? When? Yeah. yeah. I don't, I've it's, never seen a domed halo in Halo, so I don't know. <laughs> they're they're That's uh, obviously the uh, only Darsh, definition. I think we lost Darsh. Uh, Aww. So hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> something something happened. Uh, he'll he'll be back here in, uh, in a little bit. Um, it's the Aaron Dyson. <laughs> uh, no. All right. So, um, did you answer answer this question? Do you think we're going to see the Aaron Halo? No, you you already answered that. Darsh is not yeah, answering the question. So. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, let's move on to, uh, to the, to the next one. What did you think the next one was going to be? Um, ships. What new ships are we going to be getting next year? Do you think, what would you, what, what do you think we're going to be getting this year? You mean the, sorry, the, well, yeah, this year? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm still, <laughs> still living in the past. A historian. Man, Hello. I've been looking forward to this Welcome year back, for like the past year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am. I am very solidly in 2023. Um, 
I, I, so it looks like it's the year of RSI. Galaxy Polaris links. Um, I don't think all those will get done this year. Um, also, I invented a new concept back on the, uh, I think it was, the, I, it was either the Astro Pub or Tree Zero Three One One's uh, Discord um, for a RSI uh, smaller than the Constellation RSI, but bigger than the um, Aurora called the Pro Star. So somewhere that fits kind of that uh, Cutlass area. Yeah, Freelancer Cutlass. Yeah, Freelancer Cutlass, a Proto Star. That's, I want one of those. Mm. Um, keeping with their naming scheme. Uh, there should be a new RSI concept to flyable this year because that's what they did last year with Drake. Drake was Vulture and Con- uh, Corsair all year. That was going to come out the end of the year now that we have it. And they like, oh, by the way, here's a third Drake ship. So we have the Polaris and Galaxy oh, yeah. that are moving into production. We have the Lynx there. So it's there's a lot of RSI stuff going on. So they're probably going to, by the way, here's another RSI ship. So we were talking about the Aaron Hale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. go back a little bit because you're, 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 we'll come back to the, I'll ask both these questions for you, Dodge. So the yeah. first question is Aaron Halo. Mm-hmm. Uh, you think we're this year? No. no, just because there's no need for it. Uh, and until we, I think we'll we will need the new quantum travel experience before we get any sort of quant, uh, Aaron Halo because, like like Nazareth said, like if if you want to. Smuggle things past the the um, the customs. You would need the sort of so you need to circumnavigate and go around it. Mm-hmm. But you know, this is something that I've always, ever since, and this is for every fucking star, s- space game ever. It's like s- star I mean, systems don't need to be two dimensional. Mm-hmm. Where is my planet that goes this way around? I mean, they have those. We're just not in the Stanton system. They do have sure, some... they did not not like maybe maybe at, at an angle, but like at ninety degrees completely. I I think they have one. I think they yeah. have absolutely one. And the quantum trial experience has been being worked on for eighty one weeks, and that the bars finish up currently at the beginning of February. Yeah. Okay. So we could so, see, but yeah, but yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. I'm going to agree with both of you on this one because this is one thing is that we've seen no mentions of it outside of because if quantum travel experience is one thing, but if they were working on the quantum travel experience and they were thinking about doing the air and halo wall of quantum, we would have we would the uh, art team would have been put on the stations. Actually, according to my to my to my to my great spreadsheet uh, in 2022, I believe there was a sprint report that showcased white box of or or late concept art of the Aaron Hale stations. Yes, I believe that was correct. But that, was that 2022 or is that 2021? It's a good question. I don't dare open it because just talking crashes my laptop. <laughs> I, I need I, a I new think, laptop. There we go. Yes, go, I, I, do, I, uh, I do take that criticism. 2020? Uh, yeah. Can't be, be 2020. I'm, yes, I am trusting uh, CIG to be consistent. That is, I know that's wrong, especially in January. Yeah. Um, but but it, everything we say on this entire show is going to be hailed or thrown out into the the mud come the end of February. Because <laughs> yeah, nobody really knows. The, the, this is these these are bases. These are guesses based off of current information. The best we understand, because January end of January they always throw stuff out. Yeah. Um, I, because they, I they assume. Change, Re- refocus their their goals for the year as hard as cig is moving towards um squadron complete they're moving towards uh the castra stanton uh terra ring of planets and that is going to be our version one playground because mm-hmm. that gives you that gives you hauling support that gives you smuggling support like on a larger scale yeah um so you can run stuff from Stanton to Castra, which is a big trade lane, and you can decide, I can do it in a third the time if I go through Pyro, and because the jump points between Stanton and, I believe it's Nyx, are really close together, you don't have to spend too much in Pyro, but it is still Pyro. Or you can take the safe way around and go through Terra and go the long way to, uh, what is it? Uh, Terra, Hadrian, Castra. Or you can li- literally, yeah, so Pyro Oso Castra, it's literally like a third the travel distance. Mm. So the Oso and Stan uh, jump points in Pyro are well, very we, close we, together we, and very far out. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, but you know, I I checked my uh, spreadsheet on on my phone, and it was the Inside Star Citizen homework, spring twenty twenty two on twenty third April twenty twenty, as when they last mentioned the Aaron Halo stuff. Yeah, so it was pretty recently. So it was pretty recently. It's still over two years. Uh, yeah, over two year. years ago. Speaking yeah. of stuff that's been twenty twenty. Oh, 2020. And I finally got tall talking. Um, the P- Pegasus was actually yes. mentioned in 2021. Yes. It was re- by name, re- but then and- it was removed, and then it was removed in 2022, and then it was re mentioned again by name in 2022. So it's, it's and in it's, the vertical it's, slice by a uh, by a, a lower name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, there's definitely it's 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 popped off and back again multiple yeah, times because they're not working on Squadron 42 episode two. Yes. Which, as they said, everything in Squadron 42 episode 2 is shelved until they get there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, I'll ask yeah, you. Yeah, get, get episode 1 out, get the money flowing in, mm-hmm. and then then we'll talk about And then take another 15 two. years to make Squadron episode No, two. no, they, ha- they will have had the engine done by then. Dush. Yeah, and- but... Dush. No, they're wrong. I, they're wrong. I need I need to ask you the next question, which is what Naz was asking when you when you yeah. dropped out, mm-hmm. which is yeah. ships. What ships do you expect us to see this coming year? Halsey. That's Halsey? ending. Yeah, that's 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 actually um It's done. Um <laughs> it's done. It's yeah. done. It's gonna be ended in either April or uh sorry, February or March. Um I'd like to see something not fucking Drake. Thank okay. you. Yes. <laughs> Spirit <laughs> is in the works, but when it comes to um I its Spirit. progress, uh I, I don't know whether that is the end of work or if it's just what I call the fog of war on the roadmap, because there's no differentiation between those. Uh so I wouldn't really say I uh Polaris Galaxy Spirit, I wouldn't uh, get get my hopes up, but the ships that we know that have, have been uh working on. And hopefully, finally, the BMM. BMM is the Yeah. Yeah. Um till, till we uh, get bazaars, we're not getting a BMM. Well, we'll get B- we'll get bazaars with BMM. Yes, I, I fully imagine that. Like I would mm-hmm. I would even like imagine that they would even do BMM and Kraken in the same patch. Because they're like Drake's so easy to build. So if they're putting in the BMM with the bazaar, they might as well just do the Kraken. Yeah, yeah, Drake's so easy to build. You just make a bigger cutlass. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's just... like all the all the greebling is already done. They just like, oh, how do we make the hull? We just take a caterpillar. Just... There you go, done. Mm. <laughs> all all the Smash a caterpillar and like, into a like cutlass. It's... There you go, crack him. The... Drake is the epitome of how they like to design things in games. It is good match. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it's like. The... They just made a thing that's they they made Drake easy to make because mm. it's what they do anyway. Yeah, or Origin and Banu stuff is the on the exact opposite mm-hmm. uh, spectrum because everything is flowing lines, everything is bespoke, everything mm. is mm, yeah. done to perfection. I think RSI yeah. is like the direct middle because uh, if you look yeah, at everything, the art, RSI, Aegis, Anvil, yeah, Aegis is actually really easy. A lot of their stuff is is copy paste. Like the all the hallways that now that they have the you good very carbonated ah. <laughs> uh, all the hallways for any Aegis ship that's bigger than a retaliator now is basically done because they have yeah. the retaliator hallways and they have the uh, bigger like the Idris hallways that are also yeah. on the the Javelin so a lot of that stuff's done a lot of Crusader bigger mid tier stuff's done so this the spirit should be too hard but the RSI stuff if you look at the Polaris new art for the hangar, it's the exact same as the uh, Bengal, just scaled differently. There's new art for the Polaris? No, not the, art, art, but the, the mesh that we saw on our side, on ISC. ISC. The okay. most recent update for it. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to get, yeah, yeah. We're, let's get to the big hard hitting questions, which are, which for, for, for this next year, expectations, and then we'll go through kind of, um, When do you think these things will hit? And then, of course, uh, last last little little thing is, uh, what do you fear, or uh, what do, what do you think is realistic? What do I that fear? Becoming there? my own father. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> I can't, well, actually, that would be really easy for me. I just gotta get run over by a drunk driver. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. 
Oof. <laughs> All oof right. Size big. That's oof size massive. Uh, yeah. Let's let's go with the big question, and I'll start with you on this one, Daj. Yeah. Should people expect four point Q four this year? Do you think no. it's reasonable? That was fast. Let me speak about it a little. <laughs> uh, if even Chris Roberts says Q three of twenty twenty three, no, no. Unfortunately, no. I don't think we'll even see uh, 3.18 to live before Q2. Mm. So, okay. so so, they have completely, ab- and good for them, completely abandoned the whole quarterly patch uh, release thing and just doing a patch when it's done, which they did before, but I think they, it, it just doesn't work. It's like un- when you have the game done, when it's done and you're just doing content, yes, mm-hmm. do the quarterly patches. But when you're still building the game, still deep in research and development, it just can't be done because yeah. you're putting too much unnecessary stress on people to finish a feature by a certain date. And then it's not either either you fluke it like with the planets or it's crap it doesn't have all the features you wanted to put in them or it's late. So just... and I think, I think UGS are a really good example of that. Like the original UGS, they said, no, we have a release date. You need to get these out. You can't do what you want to do with them. So just that we had the one UGF that has like minor tweaks on the interior. What they actually mm-hmm. wanted to do is what they're doing. Yeah. So, so, so they, they released what they could and then they moved on. Instead, instead of yeah, sort of very carbonated. Uh, <laughs> so instead of um, finishing it to the level they wanted to, you know, maybe a month or two extra work, and then giving us what they wanted to do initially, instead of cutting it out, uh, sort of cutting it back, and then releasing at the the date that they, they were given. You really uh, think that they're they're going to get rid of the quarterly release? You think you think we're not going to see better. not immediately. They're just going to keep extending and extending and extending and then they they're, they they're, we get a message, yeah, it's not working out. We're going back to uh to to the when it's done method. Okay. Uh so, uh, so like no, nothing do... nothing major. I I'm going to say nothing major until mid Q2 if, if not June. Okay. They just do like 318, sorry. Sorry, after 318. After 318 is done. Yeah. If they just do like Q3 patch or Q2 patch, end of Q2 patch, and then end of year patch, like it's a much better scenario for in development game. But as I always say, as I've said on like so many shows now, I would like them to have two versions of the games constantly running. Always a PTU and always alive. Yeah, exactly. I I say I think I said that as well a couple of um uh, tables ago. Ah. Okay. Uh yeah. <laughs> Naz, your thoughts. Do you think we're going to see 4.0 at the end of this year. I mean, last time I said something about predicting 4.0, it was <laughs> me middle of the year last year. So, <laughs> so, so you're wrong. Let's get it. But my so that's bucket why you gotta... is just an empty cylinder that has no bottom <laughs> on it. I, I can't. Everything I say holds no water. Um, hey, did, 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 did you make a bed for a very good bottle of bra- <laughs> brandy or, or, you know, liquor yeah. or whatever of choice? Uh, with with the man over there about a certain release date. Uh, <laughs> I'm squashing for you too. We didn't formalize yeah. anything, but yeah. I will be at SystemCon, so like that's the plan. Um, let's see. It, I want to say yes because <laughs> I want it done. I want to move on. Like the the game perspective, the game's perspective in a lot of people's minds is nothing till Pyro. Yeah, and even though post pyro perception is going to just go back to it's taking too long for development, it's just millions and millions of dollars wasted on a dream, the tech demo, like it's going to just return to its normal thing. The normal discussions, yeah. Right. But it's just the entire perception is just being just plugged by pyro right now. Um, I just kind of want it done. I I can see a world, especially with the new definitions we have for uh, server meshing. Now we have the three different definitions. I And they said that server meshing is actually pretty easy to get done once PES is done. Mm-hmm. So from the rhetoric, it sounds like it's possible. 
But knowing CIG, again, this is trying thinking the CIG is going to be consistent. I can't see Pyro actually coming in this year. I think it will. I think the stuff around 4 0 is actually going to make 4 0 leave uh, 2023. Okay. Like 4 0 and Pyro uh, server meshing will be mostly done, but it's all like the little features that they want to plug into it that it becomes too big of an elephant to put into uh, 23. Okay. Mm. I'm, I'm, but, but, and, and to answer Shampasta's question, which is very related, uh, the reason for Pyro being in 4.0 with server meshing is the fact that we need server meshing to test Pyro because we need the dynamically being able to change from one server to another, and that is through a jump gate or yeah. a jump point. Um, the reason they're calling it 4.0 is because it is such a huge paradigm shift that that brings along with it. Um, but you can't have Pyro without uh, without server meshing because everything else in Pyro already works in Stanton. Yeah, it's just we, going from Stanton to Pyro that is the key part. And and this has been asked many times before, and I I kind of also like re- re- reiterate this. Which is uh, there's no point in making a selection screen where you can go to Pyro or Stanton and they're just putting Pyro in because that's putting more work. That's more work to do, which will just be thrown out once Pyro and Stanton are in. We're, we're close enough. I've heard the 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 doom naysayers, people being like, it's not coming in until 2024 or 2025, like Q4 2024 or Q or Q1 2025 for 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 server meshing. It's like no, we're we're gonna get it for sooner than that. Almost certainly. Um, yeah, like 24 the, the, is like the farthest it will get pushed. Yeah. Uh, but at, but at, even in CIG time, even if it was 2025, that's still soon for CIG's time. And it would take them a year to build out a system to be able to let you launch into Pyro versus versus Stanton. And that would make just be wasted effort on their time. Mm. So, no, you're not going to get Pyro until 4.0 comes out is the issue. And trying to explain why we need server meshing to do Pyro. If anyone knows Minecraft, try loading up a mod that lets you change your render distance and put your render distance up to 512 chunks. Oh, no. Yeah. You can't do it. For, so there are a couple mods that actually let you do LOD distance, and you can go up to a couple thousand chunks. That's severely LOD'd. The problem is with when you load in when you load in an area with the current uh, socks or uh, server side object container stream. If a player is nearby, all those NPCs are on the server. So if there's someone in stand, if there's someone in Artcorp, Babbage, Hurston, and Ruin Station, and they outpost on. Uh, one of the plants in Pyro, that is too much for one server already. Mm-hmm. So if you split up the two groups of data, you can have two different render distances, much like a multiplayer Minecraft server works. And you also got to remember that it's uh, that because Pyro is so much bigger, minimum it's going to have to be split into two two servers. Period, because there's just too much information. So you're already looking at Pyro not functioning without two servers, which means that you need to have server meshing. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and, yeah let's, let's, it would be interesting if they went straight from what we have now to several servers per system instead of just having one system for Sand and one system for Pyro. I mean, I think they want to do that just because they want to test the the going over the barrier and all the bugs that happen with that. Because mm. once they get all the bugs for crossing the the boundary, it's it's not a big jump to dynamic server meshing, at least dynamic one. Oh my god, Red Cloud it, with Piss 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 coming very soon. <laughs> piss 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 Piss. In wh- yeah, in which state yes. will Shodin Cats, cats per- persist? Is You were so close to greatness. <laughs> <sighs> oh, uh, I want to I wanna do that missile joke about the missile knows where it is because it knows where, it, it, because where it's going to be and where it was, but it's not know where it is. Um... That that old meme. Uh, all what, right. what is the server team gonna do post dynamic two? Post dynamic two, um, optimizations. Mm. Working on the code, making sure it's better, and then retire. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> there's always something to work on. And improvements. Yeah. Tony, Tony so, never gets retired. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, well, I, I, I was gonna ask that question there. That's another good question to ask before we, we we wrap up to the when do you think this stuff is gonna come and. Uh, 
I'm going to move on to the question and answers. Uh, I'll start with you on this, I guess, Naz on this one. Um, do Are we going to see an expansion of Quanta this year? Obviously. Like, the, it's been long enough. We have enough systems with cargo, with the cargo elevators being done this year. They should be. Um, cargo system refactor. Where are the cargo elevators? Other oh, freight elevators. Um, freight they elevators, should yeah. be in. This do year? they end? Do they uh, on the roadmap? Do they end end of June? Because that's another cutoff that I've seen. Like, a lot of things ending no, at the end, end of, of June. February. Oh, yeah, yeah. And okay. it's a USPU gameplay team working on it currently, mm-hmm. and that's part time work. Um, yeah, I so think it's going to be w- one of the nooks in a hangar. Quantum. Yeah. The thing that I would like to see, as far as quantum goes, is a better representation of the current population of different landing zones. So instead of mm. the, 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 the stock NPCs that they, keep, they, they have when the server starts up, removing those and using the spawn clauses to get a dynamic population, which was done a while ago. Sure, sure but, but do you, want, do you yeah, want to see that as a player or as... When I walk into Babbage, Art Corp, Landing, uh, Art Corp Plaza or whatnot, I want to see, like, it's, you know, the middle of the day, so people are milling about, or the middle of mm. the night, or there's, or there's fewer. Or, you know, whatever, like, there's a big hole that just came in, so traffic and stuff like that. Oh, I want to see the right. game, the game living, mm-hmm. instead oh, of just the game yeah, starting yeah, and stopping. Whenever con- you connected with a day-night day cycle mm-hmm. of every NPC but that I, they've talked about, yeah. yeah. But it's definitely something with Quantum is going to advance this year. Mm-hmm. Almost inevitably. If if not if not as we'll get more uh, commodities that are going to be tied to it instead of just refueling, right? Dash, make it do you, think, do, you, do you think we're going to see it as well? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, be just because of the cargo refactor, that's going to be, everything that we'll be able to haul um, or trade with. I believe that that should eventually also move on to. Um, the the quanta system uh, sooner than later so the, the dynamic economy um maybe not uh maybe i don't think we'll get more commodities to trade like actual finished products quantum drives actual ships to haul but but we, they will stick to the current list of commodities that they have and uh and just enable those in in the quanta so the pricing and availability uh, also varies because 318 brings with it a very nice uh, addition to the trading kiosks which is not only availability but demand as well so yeah. yeah that's a good indicator that um a lot of more things are going to be added to quanta which is the primary uh, driving force be- behind demand and uh, and supply Okay, that's a really good like stepping point. Like all the commodities in, and then maybe next year we get components on a trading. Yep, and more items. Like, like there's there there should be hundreds of different items. And, then, and yeah, they've already said that they have the math done for mm-hmm. components and ships. The math is already in Data Forge. So when they want to go turn that on, the math of what a ship should cost or what component should cost is already done. Yeah. Uh, so the, this will be the last question before moving to the Q and A's and I'll start with you on this one, Darge, which is yeah. when do you expect a lot of this to come? Like, cause you, you talked about how like 318 you think is going to take, uh, through the rest of quarter one and into quarter two to release. So when, like say Q2, do you think we're going to get a patch Q3? What do you, when, when do you just generally believe some of this stuff is going to drop? Oh. Like for instance, this quantum stuff, do you think that's going to come sooner or later down the road, the road? Um, that's that kind of thing. Well, the roadmap is a very good uh, indicator of what's being worked on, and I don't see any of that on the roadmap, like the quantum stuff. I would mm-hmm. like it to be um, sooner, sooner rather than later. But do you think we'll get like a patch for for uh, Invictus? Um, do you think? Oh, be... we'll definitely get a point patch for Invictus, yeah, where they... Do you think it's going to be a 317.5, or do you think it's going to be a 318 point something, or do you think... What do you think? Well, Invictus is probably just about the time where where I'm thinking a 318 is going to be releasing. May. 
So, yeah. Okay. So, about then, although the quanta stuff, uh, no clue. Really no clue. Because cause, cause you, you would think that they'd be starting to talk, hyping it more in the monthly reports and everything, but, but they've been oddly quiet. Hmm? Have we got? Did we get one for? Nope. We get. Nope. We're gonna get a monthly report in January, sometime next yeah, week. Yeah, I think. I think like we're waiting on the the Earth shifting schedules, and because we didn't, we haven't heard anything in basically a month. New, no new yeah. information. For... Yeah, thirsty. I'm thirsty, Sergi. <laughs> uh, uh, well, ja January is just planning month at CIG yeah. anyway, so it, it's we're... it's the nice refresh for people to like remember they like other games. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I wish like we ha like the part of me that would like a lot of the people that hate on Star Citizen to just remember that they like games again to go away. <laughs> like you don't have to hate on Star Citizen so much. There, you know, there are other games out there to go play them and go hate. play KSP. Go play your flight sim. Hey, KSP two is mm -hmm. coming out too. That's coming out in January. Yeah, February. KSP. I, I it's probably off the Epic Store now, but it was free yesterday. So I yeah, finally have KSP until the twelfth. I think. Is it until the twelfth? So if you yeah. want, can if you want to go and find out, yeah, it's still it's still free. If you want to go find out why uh, KSP is so good and why it's basically the Dark Souls of Flight Sim, um, <laughs> your first ship is going to crash and burn. Oh, I, I haven't <laughs> yes. launched it yet. I fully am aware. Like I can't play Space Engineers without blowing something up. So yeah, <laughs> I have no chance in KSP. Mm -hmm. Um, what was I even saying before that? But yeah, I've. Yeah, make sure to to, and I, I do. I also do think like that's a good. We'll probably talk about that when it comes to the questions and stuff like that. And this is, mm. I've heard Mike say this is toxic. I disagree that it's toxic. I think the video games are supposed to be fun and enjoyable. They're supposed to be a recreation activity. So mm -hmm. if you're getting to the point where you're screaming at a video game, find another video game or just mm. step away and like, like. Things are supposed to be fun. You're supposed to put time and effort into something yeah. fun. Being angry at something isn't progressive and it's not, it, it doesn't help your stress levels. So like if you're, if you're frustrated at CIG and you're frustrated at development, the normal healthy option is going, I'm going to go find another game or I'll go enjoy this other game. Cause that's what most people do. Or maybe, but maybe not even gaming. Me. Maybe, maybe watch foundation, which I've been putting off for months there now. There you go. Or, for some or, reason. Or, or hey, take paint one of from, my, uh, my, my giant piles of, of shame for plastic that I have to, to, to paint. You know, take or, a, a cue from uh, Numifier and go play the game Touch Grass. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> go Touch Grass for 15 minutes or whatever the stupid uh, achievement is. Um, uh, KSP is free on Epic Games, for those of you who don't know. So that if you're yes. watching this already, it's into the 12th, so you still got some time, even if you're watching this after on the recording. So, mm. um, I well, uh, Death Stranding was uh, free, uh, like last Death week. Death Stranding but, is yeah. amazing. I just wish there was more gameplay between I, the cutscenes. I hate Hideo Kojima's storytelling so much. I love it because do, he's do you he, wanna, that man you is a bit of video that, game in your movie. <laughs> I love his, his, his storytelling because it is in, you know what you're getting for it. It's like kind of like Chris Roberts. This is one of those things that you're going to have to expect with Square uh, 32. No. Cutscenes are going to be a thing, and they're going to be pretty Hideo intrusive. Hideo Kojima. Hideo Kojima is a wonderful idea man. Yeah. I will give him that. Which is why but he, he wrote for the script for Death Stranding, <laughs> yeah. and you can tell. So so he's, he's George Lucas for games. Yes. Yeah. That's a good way of putting it, yeah. Um, uh, I so the only thing I don't like about Death Stranding actually is the. the let's the talk not, about this later. Let's move on to but, your but, your but, thoughts. Okay. When no, do you no, think no, what, what this, this what is Paul's birthday show? You have we have to go in for twelve hours. <laughs> Absolutely, let's do it. Uh, Except I'm supposed to be streaming at eight. So, so the the question Naz is. What, um, if anything, like, like what, what is the progression? Do you think you can even guess when something's going to drop for Star Citizen uh, of what's coming out? You, you mentioned mm -hmm. things like, like the, like Darsh mentioned, like atmospheric flight controls and those kind of things. Do you think that stuff's coming in sooner, later? Um, I can see a future where we have a 320 before the okay. 4.0, specifically because a, a, major bug pick bug fix patch okay so we have 318 with pes we have 319 with like the gameplay that's not how game versioning do. works though 
Bug, bug fix is the third decimal. That, that's great, <laughs> except this is CIG, not numbers don't matter. This numbers is don't freaking like... matter. In <laughs> yeah. math, actually, you don't have a three ten because that's just the next decimal up. But it's yeah, fine. But it's, it's um, not a decimal. But it's fine. it's fine anyway. But I can see I can see a future where we have a three twenty, and it's it's like the little the the stuff that fell behind in three nineteen, the stuff that just got done while three nineteen was in testing. And the the finishing touches of all the things that have been going into 318, 319, and the kind of like preparing for um four O to come out and whatever. Isn't there an event sometime in Q four three ish? Yeah, Q4? this is coming. This is coming. Yeah. So I think we're gonna get well, I would like to see four O get out this year, but I think we're gonna get a three twenty that might last us till. So 320 being 320 might end up being what seven seventeen four was this year. So it might be a mm. nineteen four. But it just depends on how much stuff they get done. Like is building interior is gonna be in nineteen twenty. Yeah, uh, yeah, but I well maybe not twenty or whatever version number we're talking about. Uh, excuse me. Um uh, so carbon is. Uh, <laughs> um three twenty might actually not be a bad uh, idea just so they can get things into the game that are supposed to be in the same sort of time frame as server meshing, mm -hmm. but they're not waiting for server meshing to actually you know be put into the game. Yeah. So they just they will just put another patch in, and then we go to four point with just server meshing. Like, because you imagine, like, 320 comes in, and they bug patch that, or they bug fix that to live, and it's a brand new patch where they just now put 4.0 and server meshing on the PTU. Yeah. So it works out for both people. Like, they, I think they did that for 17.4, where it was, that came just in to live as 18 went on to the PTU. Mm. Yeah, but So it you have to... a burst of content yeah. for live and PTU. That, yeah, I mean that's th there's a whole another conversation we're gonna have to have about just like the thing that they should be doing, which is running testing servers all the time and just like giving us live servers and testing servers at the same time. And I know CIG's hesitant about it because it's expensive. As, as much as they hate the word, Star Citizen is kind of a live service. It, it is a live service. Hey, yeah. But you know, you, you know what other you know every other games in the freaking market has a beta version uh, in early access. They have a beta version you can access, and it's it's updated periodically and then dropped when it's ready. Like there's, there's a lot of stuff they could be doing. But they don't want to, but also a metaverse, which they vehemently will never say. Yeah. Uh, well, I think, I think that's a good kind of overview. There's a lot of stuff. I, I will say this as it comes to, to, that comes into this. The, the reality is, is that we just don't know. Um, you know, the, 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 there's just too many variables to really understand. But if you look at some of these other aspects, like y'all, you listed a bunch of stuff there, which, uh, is is coming in both you and Darge listed a bunch of stuff like control flaps, um, uh, life support, EVA um, resources, new yeah, new EVA, EVA with push and pull, like like that is going EVA, to change the new maps, Santucky uh, I, yeah. yeah, artificial gravity, yeah, all, and all yes. these things, all these things should be coming into the game based off of what they're where they're currently at. The question, yeah. I think, the most the biggest question for all for, for us for all of us is. Does it make 2023 or does it go into 2024? Because I think that's the real answer. I think a lot of these are being worked on and will release in 2023. Some of them won't make the cut and will be pushed into 2024. But we know that they're on the current CIG is currently churning them out, trying to work on them, tweak them and get them ready to go. Literally so, yeah. everything is up in the air until we get this new schedule. <laughs> yes. That's the question. Just depends, Jake, what, blame, what CIG wants hashtag to... blame Jake. He's on yeah, vacation. Hashtag blame Jake. Yeah. Jake, Jake's not going to come back and hear your I, I screams think, until February. So <laughs> I, I think basically the entire discussion can be summed up in 2023 is not a dead year. Yes, it's not a dead year. It's it's <laughs> it's going to be very active. There's a lot of stuff mm. that so, I think a lot of people what? are discounting. So. Did that start with another morph video? Are we two years on with a morph starting off the entire rhetoric of the year? Yes. <laughs> morph, what are you doing? Morph can morph. suck my... No, Morph, Morph, Morph was, is, he's entitled to his opinion. He's no, entitled I to his opinion. I miss when Morph and Shaq were like a package deal. And Shaq decided that he didn't want to play Star Citizen until it was matured. And then, oh. uh, like, Shaq? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. uh, XP Gamer. Yeah. yeah. And then Morph went on and got really big into Star Citizen and then left. And then now he's in, I think, Taiwan. He's now a full fledged architect. And he, like, something happened and broke. And now he's just the saltiest. Like, he's he's up in that, like, level cap Ollie area on that, like, high end of now content creators. But, like, he's made now two years in a row where it's just, like, our entire year is going to be proven those two things wrong. <sighs> I will I will say this and I'll say this live again and I'll say this again before we end it out is that people like Morph come at the concept of this game differently than uh, than other people. Everyone has a different way of approaching it. Morph's mm-hmm. approach is, is this game the game? Is it a game yet? Is it does it have the thing that I want? Ah, OK. And if it's not, then no. So Morph's concept is, is Pyro coming out this year? Is Server Meshing coming out this year? Is this moving the, the goalpost to the game that Star Citizen is going to be? If the answer is no, then the answer is then it's not this year. That's like uh, 4.0 okay. So is, it's, it's a more generalistic view. Yeah. And, and okay, if you watch his okay. videos, that's what he says. He's not saying like nothing's ever going to happen. He's just saying like these are not the things. Like this is not the year to jump into Star Citizen if you're really wanting that full real experience of Star Citizen. That's what he means. And a lot of people take it the wrong way and be like, Morph hates Star Citizen. Like, he doesn't. He just he's trying to take it in a more general view. Same thing with Mike. Yeah, Mike is the same way though, like, in the same his concepts. So your chance, your choices are Eve at this point because Elite Dangerous screwed itself over. Yeah. And he did he did several videos on Elite Dangerous. And he's like, I really want this to be good, but it's not. Yeah, Even the FPS good. is just it they they had their vision over the horizon, except they didn't look at their feet and they stepped in a, a well. Like they just yeah. didn't hit it. Uh, but with that, we'll wrap, wrap this up and kind of move on to the question and answer session. If you enjoyed this and you want to hear more conversations with people like Naz, Darsh, and many other people, I'm gonna try to get um speaking of morph, I'm gonna try to get morph to come on to the show on Monday the 16th. Ooh, so nice. with, with Space Tomato, I'm going to talk with him because uh, with a special <laughs> show because I've got that day off and wanted to kind of talk a little bit more about this. Monday. Uh, the 16th. Table on a Monday. Yeah. Nice. Special show. So. I just want to make sure I don't hate more. <laughs> I value his opinion. <laughs> uh, but make sure you check this out. Subscribe. Uh, to the YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you hit that like button as well if you enjoyed this. And I want to hear your comments down below. What do you think is coming in 2023? What is actually to look forward to in 2023? Are you are you black-pilled and just like, nothing until Pyro? I do not care. Are you a white knight being like, look at all these wonderful uh, moist eyeballs? Are you somewhere in between? Like... <sighs> Give us, give us something. Uh, let, let me know in the, in the, down in the comments below. And, uh, of course, check out Naz and D- D- Darj on their social medias. And like I say every time. Darinator.com. There we go. That's where I am. Forgot to yeah. mention. <laughs> uh, and like I say every time, hope to see you someday in the black. Bye, everyone.